What's good, Team Exclusive? Welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content. Today, we, uh, we're jumping on. I don't quite know what this video is going to be or where it's going to be attached to. Hoping it's probably going to be stuck onto another part of another video. But uh, today is the 15th of June and we didn't have a whole lot of content. It, well, I say that, but we, we did have um, the Spanish nation players, which I think is so good. Uh, 84, 85 and 86 for uh, and what you get obviously is you get like a 93 Forsberg you get a 92 Eliasson and a 94 Lindelof and I've got to say they all look pretty damn good he looks really good um, he looks really good I mean at this stage I mean players centre backs like you know I think he'll, he'll, he'll do a job but uh, whether or not it'd be Incredible not is uh, up for debate, but he looks really good and he looks pretty decent as well. So big respect for that. I just don't understand why they didn't do that for Uruguay. Um, like, why does Uruguay just have Jimenez? And I'm pretty sure it's just... Yeah, so what? Wh why? Why not have, like, the same? That doesn't make any sense. But hopefully that's going to be the same going forward for, like, um, England and such, which I'm really looking forward to. So as long as they do that same for England, I'll be very very happy um besides that not a whole lot else we did have an 85 plus player pick and i've done a few other just normal player picks uh to see what we get so obviously we've got 10 81 plus player picks and we've got the 85 at the end for later on so just in hopes of getting phil foden or any kind wow okay i mean godin's not bad um any kind of festival of foot card we do get an 85 ericsson which is uh, very, very nice. You do love to see it. Come on, what are we saying? 88 Harry Kane. Yo, you love to see it. That's going to be great for my <laughs> Euro to glory. Saving me having to buy this dude. But uh, he's not exactly ideal, is he? Come on, what are we saying? Nope. I've done loads of these and just haven't been able to pick up any of them. I'm hoping, hoping today can be different. I'm going to take Mario Fernandez. I don't know if pretty much nobody's tradable in my club, so... Okay, we get a Vidal. That's not bad, I guess. Not bad. Uh, but yeah, I've done quite a few of these. And just like the best player I got was Mbappe, which I know is pretty good. It's pretty decent. But it's not what we're after. We're after one of the greens. Um, I'm going to take Fernandinho. I don't know if that's good or not. Come on. Two, two normal. I don't... I mean, we get Pope Chilwell... Matawidi, Pizzy. I'm going to take Pizzy, I guess. 84. Last one of the normals. 86, Sommer. Sommer, you do love to see it. So two walkouts, which I suppose is pretty good, to be honest. I mean, overall, that's not bad. you got, you know, 285s. You've got uh, 284s and 83, uh, a few 82. So 81 plus is pretty, pretty decent. But this is the big one. So 85 plus like, I've got to say, we've got to see at least one special card, surely. I mean, you'd expect it, but it's not guaranteed, is it? Let's face it. Um, oh, the two I want to see, Foden or Griezmann. That's it. Anybody else not going to be too happy with, but let's see what we get. Come on, man. Come on. What are we saying? Be a green. Of course it's not going to be. But we do get, I mean, Di Maria, Modric. <laughs> I mean, I mean. <laughs> All right, so here we go for part two of this video. It's just, it is just a mess. Obviously, the previous part you'll have seen, uh, we did 10 player picks and we did the 85 plus upgrade player pick um, thing. Yeah, so we did that and it, it wasn't that great for being honest. We like, we didn't get a single special card. I've seen a, a quite a lot. Again, you know, YouTube and, and YouTubers do this quite a lot. They'll show like loads of them and I saw loads of them and hardly any was getting um getting any of these festival foot cards but i do want to say today we did get obviously an 82 plus times eight and we got uh an 83 plus times 10 which i love these packs these are really cool and to be fair they weren't bad or they weren't overpriced in my opinion the 82 was an 83 in an informed squad or team of the season and this one was uh, an 84 and a team of the season or team of the week which was very good in my opinion obviously it could have been better but uh Considering you're probably guaranteed a walkout, I thought, unless you're really unlucky, that, you know, they, they should be okay. The only thing I wanted to mention was, I think this, this promo has been really good, but the, the content's been really kind of just inconsistent, in my opinion. Like, yesterday we had the Swedish national players 
which I think is incredible. This is really good. Like, you know, three squads, each of them delivering a player, which I think should be more of what SBC should be like. Like, you give up one squad, you get a player, and, and so forth. Instead of giving up, like, three squads for a single player, it just doesn't make any sense. But, yeah, great, great content. I just don't understand why we're not getting, like, a lot of these. Like, Uruguay was just Jimenez. Sweden is three players. There's nothing today in the regards of these. There's no objective, so... I don't know. I don't know. I would love to have seen like an English one or a French one or a German one. You know, uh, why not? I don't. I don't understand why. Why not? But either way, let's jump into this. So the 82 plus. Let's see what we get. Obviously, we're hoping for that big Philly Foden. That's what I want. Anything else? I really just don't care about. We do get a walkout. I'm not sure what that is to be honest. Brazil, centre forward. Oh, it's going to be a Bobby Firmino. I'm going to have to discard him unfortunately because i do have uh all the untradeable duplicate but could be still be good good stuff to be fair maybe behind behind maybe it's not terrible it's not terrible at all i mean it could have been better we've got an 85 and 84 and the rest was just 82 so and obviously an 83 trap so not ideal is he tradable oh he's not oh well i've got recovery so i'll just get him back but yeah that was that was pretty good to be fair Obviously, I want to see. I want to see that green. I haven't got one yet. I haven't got a single one out of any player picks, any packs yet. And I want to get Philly Foden. He is probably, maybe, one, arguably one of the most expensive ones. But I, I, I just really, really just want that card. Um, Griezmann obviously would be nice for the potential upgrades if they go that far. If, um, but yeah, come on, Phil Foden, eighty-three times ten. What are you saying? Surely a walkout. It's just a bit shit, isn't it? It's just a bit shit. Holy God, man. But yeah, so like I was saying, in the way of content, like we had, I think, this today. I was really hoping for some like international man of the matches, but I just don't believe that's the case, is it? There's just nothing. No like team of the week of international man of the matches. We've just got this couple of shitty SBCs. And that's it. Okay, well, I mean, that was entirely tragic. So, ah. Uh, I apologise. You had to you had to witness that, but yeah, crazy. See, it seems quite rare that we actually jump on ultimate team nowadays to do anything. But uh, I thought there was some interesting stuff, and it was quite a good chance, in my opinion, to get one of these festival foot cards. I was tempted to do the icon upgrade, but it's a primal primal moments, so and most likely you'll get a prime. And it's fucking Spain, Germany, or Brazil. They've only put Spain and Germany in there just so you don't get a Brazil player. Um, so yeah, no, I'm. I'll, I'll pass, but uh, yeah, crazy, crazy disappointing. I do apologize that anybody had to actually fucking witness that. That was horrendous. So I do hope you enjoyed. If you, of course, did, please do drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. If you want to see more of this content and you haven't already, please do consider that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family. We're doing all kind of content around here. It's not just Ultimate Team. Uh, we obviously have a Ultimate Team based Euro 2020 Road to Glory, which we've made our own kind of euro game mode it's always improving always uh getting better so definitely really recommend you check it out if you haven't already and obviously we're doing career modes and all that kind of stuff so really uh really good stuff so yeah do consider subscribing if you haven't already but with that said i do hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching and as always we'll see you next time